Welcome back to Upfront, episode number 10, Millie. Episode number 10? Yep. Time flies. Would have been 11 if somebody wasn't sick a few weeks ago. Is it actually 10 or did you just make that up and say it with confidence? I'm assuming because we're up to around eight and we did two weeks beforehand. Charlie? I can confirm it's episode 10. Oh, I know my stuff. Nice. And if you listened last week, you know Millie <laughs> lost Alpha Bucks. Okay, I just want to say one more thing. I was listening to Alpha Bucks on 106 something in Newcastle and they were doing it to someone and they said – in the rules, you can't say the same thing twice. So, yep, well, we actually had somebody inbox us. Who? You? No. Mom? No. <laughs> and said that you can. So, I don't know. Let's just make the rule up now and stick with it. That you can't repeat the same thing. Okay, that's fine. We will do that. But okay. anyway. You're going to be screwed. You're going to get one. No. I have brought <laughs> your food that you'll be eating. I've been a bit nice because we do have training this afternoon. So, I don't want you to be sick for training. What is it? It's actually not that bad, but I wouldn't want to eat it. You've been hiding it behind your back all <laughs> I know, day. I carried it in my jumper. <laughs> all right. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> where got you it get in, it? I got Where'd it from Coles. Where'd you get it? Coles. Coles. In the dog food aisle? No. Um, international food. It's called grass jelly. I <laughs> know, oh, you like your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. <laughs> and and I bought it last week and it sat in my car for the week. <laughs> Head, okay. <laughs> oh, far out. Low in cows, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of any positive here. It looks black. It's what is that? Like green. gelatin. It's, it's, um, it looks like they've made Ugh. boiled stuff with gelatin to make it. Like grass. Ingredients, grass jelly. I actually don't think it would taste that bad. I think it looks worse than what it would taste. It's shelf life, two years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably a week in the car though. <laughs> it's been pretty warm. Look, <gasps> I've only got to have one little bit though. Yeah. Well, you know what I was thinking? I was going to bring you some spam because I know you hate oh, that I hate stuff. spam. So I was nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that sound? <laughs> That's sloshy. <laughs> anyway, oh, can't God. wait for that. But how's your week been, Mill? Yes, my week has been good. Actually, since you kind of put me on the spot about a lot of the wedding planning last week... <laughs> It got me into into gear with a bit of wedding planning. I felt felt a bit, um, you know, disappointed with with where I was at, and yeah. I've um, inquired about a cake. Awesome! It's not red velvet. That's okay. What I just it? think, what does red velvet even taste like? You know what you said to me? You said it was tacky. I can't believe. Yeah. That. Okay. So, <laughs> someone brought it up at training. Like, uh, Keely thought having a red velvet cake was normal, and I've gone, Keely. Red velvet is like tacky vibes. And she goes, no, it's not. And so we asked everyone and everyone said red velvet is tacky. Yeah. I didn't get that vibe from red velvet. Mm. But it <laughs> was the fact that it's red. <laughs> yeah, well, but what does it actually taste like? It's like chocolate. It well, like then chocolate. just have chocolate. I don't know. I don't actually know what it tastes like, but I really like it. But I think what I like about it is the cream topping. Like mm, that's why I like carrot like cake. <laughs> the carrot cake with walnuts. Yeah, the, like, I do icing. love a carrot cake. Maybe I'll do a carrot cake for the wedding. You should. Anyway, I also got some shoes, wedding shoes. Yes, I was with you. Yes, you came with me. What about those shoes I tried it tried on? Okay, so I asked for a size 10. <laughs> I tried them on. <gasps> I kid you not, my foot did not even get anywhere close to being in. My pinky was hanging out. This <laughs> You wouldn't have got three feet, three toes in. <laughs> Oh, we were hideous. I walked out in shame. Anyway, but I found a good pair of bared footwear in the city with you. We actually went dress shopping. We did. Keely, you know, end of the year, we've got the wedding coming up. We've got a few presentations coming up. It's good to have a couple on standby. On standby. Keely has gone in. We've gone with Taz as well, Taryn Aiken, our teammate. (laughs) Okay, Keely has gone in with every single type of dress I've ever seen every colour, every design and tried them all on. <laughs> okay, because not only like, oh, I like this style, you know, I'll try this on. She's tried every single one on. I told you I'm looking for a style that I like. So you've got to <laughs> like try everything you like. to see what style suits you. I picked up this really ugly one that I knew was ugly but it was actually one of my favourite on. So now I've got to find one that looks like that but doesn't look like that. Same shape, different colour, different style. Okay. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, not really. But um, anyway, yeah, Taryn tried on about two dresses yeah. and she looked great in both. Yeah. I tried on about 50. <laughs> Disliked all of them. <laughs> there was one that uh, was bearable. It really – it makes you so sad. It you does. Go, I mean, such it is high a, hopes. Guys are so lucky. They can get one good, one or two good suits, put them on rotation. No one knows. No one cares if they wear them again. Is that true, Charlie? Yeah, I have like one tuxedo. Oh. MJ Bale. Okay, and you can post that and then people think, oh, what a nice – suit he can wear that for the rest of his life unless he you know puts on a bit of weight and has to get (laughs) what if he loses weight well the the baggy suit is still fine Um. anyway the point is girls we feel ya it's hard yakka having to get a new dress for every single thing you know what else is crazy i was actually thinking about this the other day well just before (laughs) because you said to me that i never wear my hair out yeah Imagine, it feels illegal, but it's not illegal. Imagine wearing your hair out to play rugby league. There are people that do that. It's insanity to me. It's insanity. I couldn't imagine anything worse. Yeah, and you know what else feels illegal but isn't in the rugby league context? What? Imagine wearing a normal bra. Wow. That would be crazy. (laughs) That would be the worst thing I could possibly think of. I could not concentrate. Well, everyone doesn't have a... Big as boobs as you, so it's all right. No, but I'm just being generally. Imagine yeah. wearing a normal bra playing footy. Yeah. How much that would affect your psychology? Look, I don't even know how we really got into this, but the hair out thing's annoying. The bra thing would be annoying, but lucky we can tie our hair up and wear a sports bra. Yeah. Anyway, it feels like you can't do it, but you actually could if you wanted to. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, that was a good point. <laughs> um... <gasps> Anyway, we're heading into round eight. We're into the crux of things with footy at the moment. Getting to the business end. Four more games left for whoever ends up in the grand final. Crazy. I can't believe it is actually insanity how quick it goes. I know. Like once you're in the routine, it's just bang, over. So far, this would actually be, if we were playing in the first year, this is two seasons worth of footy we've already played. Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, we're not there. Yes. So we've got two more games left and unfortunately three teams will not have a chance yes. of making the finals. Yeah, Para, Tigers and Sharks. Did you expect oh, – and Cowboys. And Cowboys. Yeah. Did you expect that? Sorry, four teams. Yeah. So there's two teams that possibly could still. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought – yeah, I did think that there'd be a few teams that are like well below – um, and it, it, after round two, I thought on oh, like the competition's a lot tighter mm. than what I was anticipating. But then uh, obviously as the season's gone on, it's spread apart a bit with a fair big, a fair few big scores on the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, like Dragons, Cowboys, that was also a really big score. Mm. Our game, yeah, there was a few. So it's not surprising. I feel like with the expansion, it was always going to happen. Um, but yeah, what about you? Yeah, I would have thought Sharks might have gone a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they probably expected to as well. But, you know, first year in the competition, um, they've had a couple of close losses, which hasn't helped. But, yeah, they'll be better for it next year. Look at um, Knights and Para, even though they've gone back a bit, you know, from their first year. Absolutely. I feel like they've got all the right people there. Yeah. Um, They've got, like, such a good balance. At Sharks, yeah. Yeah. It would just be growing on and I think it didn't help at all that they lost their spine or yeah. Jada obviously was injured for a they few had a weeks. Few, yeah, a few people missing. And any time your spines like change makes it very difficult, especially the way they play I think. Yeah. But yeah, I thought I did think they would do a bit better. Um, but they have a really big game coming up against the Dragons this week. Yes. Emma v her old team. Yes. I'm very excited to see that. Think yes. Emma got a really good try on the weekend. Yeah, they uh, nearly came back against the Bronx, so they've been doing really well. But, yeah, I think right now they'll be building for next year and seeing what they can do to, you know, make themselves be in that final spot for next year, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Do you know uh, most of their girls contracted for multi-years? Actually got a list thanks to NRL.com because it's good to see what teams will be building upon what they're doing right now and – as a lot of people know now, 
we have never had that continuity of locked in players um, until now with this new CBA. So Andy Robinson, she is staying, Cassie Staples, these people are all on a two-year deal. Um, Ellie Johnston, Emma Tonegato, Georgia Ravix, Holly Wheeler, Jada Taylor, Quincy Dodge, she's on for three years, um, Tale Holmes, Taylor Preston, Tina Dimmick, Tiana Penitani and Vanessa Foliaki. That is a large part of their squad and they will be so much better for that next year. That's and all that's, their key players. That's their key players that are definitely signed on for next year and no doubt, you know, there's Brooke Anderson there and Essa Biddle, like I can see them also, Hanisi, um, staying Same. longer as well. Yeah. I feel like a lot of that is youth as well. Mm. Like having another year of footy under their belt will help so much because hardly any – Aging players in there, I guess. Yeah. So no, no doubt Sharks will be much better for this year. Yes. So that leaves about six teams in contention still. So we've got Dragons who are only on six points, but if they win the next two games, there's still a chance at making it. They've got Sharks this week, so that's a really important mm. game for them. And even though Sharks can't make it, they'll be wanting to win that game. Yes, well, it's a massive local derby, the first yeah. ever. Yeah, Cronulla Dragons. And a lot of the girls from the Dragons last year are at Sharks this year. Yes, so I feel like it'll be a very fiery game. Yes. There's a lot of girls that have played for the Dragons that are Andy now Robinson, at Quincy uh, Dodd, Holmes, Quincy Dodd, Tegan Dimmick, Tr- Emma. Pretty much like Dragons 2.0. Sharks are. Well, absolutely. That's where they're the closest Ooh, team. okay. Game of the round. Game of the round? Dragons, Sharks. Who are you tipping? I'm back in the Sharks. It's hard to go past. Hard Who to go back past. In? I think the Sharks, I think they'll fire up a lot. Yeah. They'll be yeah. sick of losing. Where's the game at? Uh, Shark Park. Shark there Park. we go. And it's at 7.45. Night Ooh, game. Oh, it's a Thursday night. They're yes. back tomorrow. Yes. Wow. That'll be a good one. Yeah. And they both actually travelled up to Townsville, so it'll be a bit rough yeah, with that turnaround. that is a short turnaround for a long – yeah. Yep, so Dragons, they need to win this game to stay mm-hmm. in the chance. Yep. Then we've got Raiders yep. who are sitting on the same amount of points as Broncos, so they're both on eight points. Mm-hmm. Raiders, they've lost the last few. I feel like they started off really strong. Yep. Um, they're still playing really good footy. I think Appy coming back in the, into the <gasps> She's team. She's been unreal. She's so good. So good. She's been one of their their best players, yep. without a doubt, this year. Yeah, Raiders, Raiders and Bronx. Bronx are doing not as well as we thought they would. They're having glimpses of really, really good footy, and then like they just turn off for like ten minutes, and then like get a couple of points, like tries put on them, and and suddenly it's an even contest. Where I feel like they should be a lot better than that. Yeah, I well, feel like they would be disappointed with their season so far. But if they're on the way up, they, you know, won't be the worst thing. Well, I've seen – well, in the comp the last few years, there's always been a team that hasn't yeah, done too well, sneaks into the finals, then makes the grand final. That is true. That so is true. they're definitely still building and I think they'll be third or fourth for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I do think they're a better team than the Titans, but the, like they haven't proved it yet. I think they've got the team to beat the Titans, the Broncos do. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I think Broncos have really good attack, like playing against them. First game, they already showed signs of their mm. attack, um, whereas I feel like Titans are the opposite. Their defence is just so strong and their middle, their forward pack yeah, is their just forward pack so is unreal. elite. Yep. Whereas, yeah, I feel like Broncos are quite the opposite. They're um, so there. good with their attack. Yeah. Nice. Then in third... We just spoke about them, the Titans. Yes. You know what's impressed me about the Titans? They've been a great team this year. They've got a great, they've got a great uh, squad, absolutely. But they've won so many dogfights and sometimes that's just character. Like, yeah, sometimes you should be winning games by more or, you know, you should have won it, put it away earlier or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But they've showed that they can win a dogfight yeah, and well, that's impressive. Absolutely. Look at the players they have. It's like that's a dog fight. That's a dog fight. It's a dog fight. And what about Lozzie Brown going to seven? Yes, she's back at seven. Yeah. I like her better at hooker because I just think she's such a good hooker. Like the way that she defends and also just has so much energy, puts in – still puts in kicks um, at hooker. But she – like – 
the fact that she's your backup half as well, like that's yeah. like, that's unreal. Yeah, no, she's definitely an elite hooker. Yeah. But I think to for the Titans to be the best that they can be, they need her at seven. Yeah. Which is a pretty – Especially with Philly out. Yeah. Hopefully Phil will be back. Mm. I don't know. I haven't spoken to her recently, but there was some talks about her – making a return towards the back end of the season. You're right. So fingers crossed for Fui because I feel like she could be that missing link with attack. Without she will have so much – like she will add a lot of points to their team. Yeah. So, yeah, Titans are sitting in third and I don't see them missing out on finals. No, I But don't technically they could. Then us and Knights both sitting yes. on first. Yep. Knights – and obviously we play each other this weekend. So that'll be – a good game, no doubt, um, at Newcastle as well on Saturday. I'm it's excited a header, about actually. that. So the Bronx, who who plays the Bronx before? Tigers. It? Bronx Tigers and then um, us. us. Us and Sorry. Newcastle. Us and yes. No, it'll be good. I think Newcastle have also been that team that have shown they probably could have been Putting teams away or, or winning by more points, you know, with the experience that they've got in their team. But I feel like they, they've been winning and playing those dog fights and coming back from, from, you know, being under the pump. Yeah, I think this week will be obviously a really good test for us and for them and kind of see where we're at. Um, because the comp has changed so much since round one. 100%. Teams have been decimated with injuries. Yeah. The amount of injuries in every squad. Is I know hectic. this is what this is what was always going to be challenging. The depth now is is definitely being tested. Like even just looking at our team, like we've been we've had a few injuries. We have five key, season ending five season injuries. ending injuries. That's horrible. Like and our squads are only twenty four. Yeah. So like that's not that amount many um, people. You know, that, where else do you pull from? Like genuinely, because girls aren't playing at the moment. I know we've brought this up before, yeah. but there's it's actually nowhere a really to look. like so cheeky. Keely's our hooker, and unfortunately, our other our backup hooker did her ACL. Shorty, she's been playing so well and doing her role so well. Poor Shorty did her ACL against the Tigers. Like, I think like, and then our other like backup half hooker, she did her like. It's just she did ACL at ACL the start at of the, the season. Start, like. This is where it's getting tested. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just like where do you even look at? Yeah. Where do you look at? Because there's no footy being played. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, yep, I'll I'll take you. The girls finished six months ago. Oh, not six, but like four months yeah. ago. Anyway. Anyway, look, enough footy chat. I actually wanted to move on to something else just quickly. Still around footy, I guess, but more Australian versus American sport. Oh, we've been watching this like. Um, I think it's like some college football NFL thing and honestly they're just college footballers and they've got a whole documentary series about them. They talk, they're so on themselves. Like why is American sport how it is and Australians are genuinely compared to Americans so humble? What is the go? Because imagine an Australian being cocky. No, I couldn't. How like quickly everybody would hate them yeah i know but why are we so obsessed with american sport i'm not no i mean like you know nfl is the biggest thing and everything they do over there is the biggest thing because i think i think what it is they're like all self-promoters it's like they're all boxes yeah because it's glorified over there because there's so many people no salary caps is there not i don't know is there yeah Yeah, but it's like 500 million dollars for a team (laughs) not like 10 million (gasps) dollars that's ridiculous yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's because America, there's so many people. So if you're the best of the best, you're beating out, I don't know how many people in America, but a lot. In Australia, it's like, you know, the, like, an NRL, everybody knows an NRL player. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's, but it's a bit more guy next door. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is every team in America, even if you're in college, even if you're in high school, like, everything is glorified. Like, yeah, cool. You made the school football team. Like, <gasps> let's write, let's do it. Like, they're, they're talking about when they threw that pass and I knew I shouldn't have thrown. Like, I just can't. I'm watching this documentary at the moment. It's called like Swamp Gators or something on Netflix. <laughs> it's about this college team. I can't get over how on themselves they are. Yeah. I'm lucky we're not in America. Because- are there any? Do you, what What sport in Australia do you think is the one that's like, the most like America. 
most like America? Like in terms of like um, commercialised. Yeah, or just, you know, the most cocky kind people. That's a hard question. Do you think we've got any? Do you think anyone in Australia is like that? No, because I'm thinking about even NRO right now. Think about how humble everybody is. Like the best players in the whole comp are just like. They always give credit to someone else or. But they genuinely feel like that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like imagine if somebody like Nathan Cleary came out and was like. I'm the best halfback yes. in the world. I wanted that ball because I knew I it was that going ring. over. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it just wouldn't happen. It's our culture. It's how we've been yeah. brought up. It would never happen. It just would never happen. What goes on in their households in America? It's because it's normal. They are there. affirmation just... after affirmation every day. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just had to bring that up. I just can't. Like, why are we so accepting of that? And then we do not even let Australians like. I feel like Nick Curios is probably because we don't want to get person. like that. Australians no, we are like, let's I know not we be don't. like them idiots. Yeah, I know. I wonder what they think of us. They probably don't care about anyone but themselves. To be no, honest. they w- they would be like. Do you reckon they care that the NRL is going to Las Vegas? Surely they could. They won't even go. I genuinely don't think they'll go. If they go, it'll be like a circus attraction. They'll be like, "What's this bad sport they play?" Oh, and they'll just God. go and bag it out. Oh, yeah. But imagine if they took the two winning teams, like the two teams in the grand final of the girls over. Wouldn't that be good? That would be really cool. But it's definitely not happening. It's definitely not <laughs> happening. Maybe in ten years' time or something, when you're coaching the team or whatever. Yeah, it would be much better going over as a coach. Yeah, be a lot less um, stressful. Okay, Gu- guess what? What <laughs> you know that question box we put up two minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> We've got some questions in it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Fire away, Millie. Okay, uh, this is me reading them for the very first mm-hmm. time. Okay, Strangey was also my under seventeens coach back in the day. <laughs> That's not even a question. Shout out to Strangey though, our coach. Okay, what has been your favorite men's jersey design? Okay. Why are you laughing? I this like is, that question. I like it. From Keely at <laughs> Hop- <laughs> <laughs> My favourite. Okay. It's not men's. Yeah, but what any. I will say, so in 2020 we yeah. played in Perth Nines. I've said this a billion times to you because okay. I got a rave on about it. Oh, the Nines. Yes. Nines, Dragons, Jersey. We had you the won. We get it. You jersey won. Jersey ever. It was the only thing the Dragons have ever won. Okay, do you Keely want me to does not stop talking about it. Just okay, sorry. Nah. sorry, sorry, go. No, Ask yourself the, the questions. questions. Okay. In 2020, we went over to Perth. <laughs> Charlie, we need a mediator today. She's really getting on my nerves. Okay. 2020, we went over to Perth and we won the Perth Nines and we had the coolest jerseys ever. They were so flattering. They were black, <laughs> but they had a bit of red, I would say, like, dragon pattern it was just really cool and all the girls still speak about it to this day and Millie's just salty because she didn't get to play in that tournament and we beat her Broncos and every time I bring up the no, jersey I'm really happy for you but it. does anyone really like no one brings up that you won the nines I don't bring it up you, I bring, you up, bring the jersey. it up all the time because I'm talking about the jersey <laughs> and Millie brings up like this she goes oh yeah you want to bring up that you won I'm like <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> loser, just because you bloody couldn't play. <laughs> anyway, okay. next question, Millie. Next question. This one's for you, Keely. How did you feel going into your 30th game? Was it your 30th NRLW game on the weekend? Must have been. I knew it was Must be. Hey. How'd you feel? I didn't know. Well, how'd you feel in the game? Oh, my, I was blown. You actually said that was the most... <laughs> I was worst you felt in a game after 10 minutes i have been sick so i feel like yeah, it was probably just that but i was like 10 well, minutes well you in. scored yes yeah, scored a little try a little cheeky cheeky yeah millie grabbed my cheeks she <laughs> after i scored she literally grabbed my cheeks so hard and went like this <laughs> and said cheeky it cheeky little, well it was a little cheeky play a little scoot you looked like you were going open and you just dive short it was side really embarrassing next time you score i'm gonna do something really embarrassing to yeah you. well don't Anyway, um, yeah, well, when I played, actually, when I played my 20th, it was actually against the Roosters and that was one of the worst games I had ever been a part of and it was really built up. So I'm glad it wasn't. It was not Mm. even mentioned. Yeah. Okay, we've got another one. Who have been some young up-and-comers from each club that have impressed you both? Okay, probably won't do from each club. but You go, Bill. 
You answer. I'll go. Someone who has really impressed me and, and everyone and she's not an up-and-comer but I think she's really done so well in the position that she's in. It's a big position and there's a lot of great fullbacks in the game. But Tegan Berry, sorry, she scored four games, four tries in a game. Nuts. That's insane. Actually hectic and two of them were complete solo tries. And they're literally like she would have run 100 metres for that. Like she is so quick and everyone – knows how quick she is and what you've got to do to shut her down but you just can't sometimes and you think after the first or second or third you can <laughs> she keeps going no because you can't beat speed can't beat there's speed. nothing you can do about it give her a little bit of space bang that must be really nice she's gone she's so quick she's very quick so i reckon nah, she's been killing it she's been very so has been absolutely massive she has been she'd have a sore back i reckon the moment she would really she would I'm so excited to see that game this weekend. Yes, it'll well, be tomorrow. It'll be good. Who who's impressed you? Mm, there's been a few young young players. Anyone? I just think Happy's been so good. She's yeah. not young, but it just no. she's been so good for the Raiders. Yeah, she's been really good. Next question. Is that it? No, no elaboration. No. That's all right. That's all we good. spoke about her. Okay, we've well, had this question a lot, and we've never answered it, but it always comes through. Do you girls like Team Photo Day? No. I don't really – I don't like it. No, it's – You do it because you have to yeah. do it. But, like, if you always get stuck with a bad photo, like, you've got to move from different things. But if you get stuck with a bad photo, that's your photo for the whole year. Mm. I hate that. Yeah, actually, that's right. Last year we had two seasons in one. Mm. I got a shocking photo. It was really bad in the start of the year. And then – the second photo day in the second season I had COVID for. So I was wow. stuck with that photo for two seasons and it was really bad. I was off that a bit. Yeah. But no, I don't particularly like photo yeah, day. I don't really like photo day. We don't have to give that question too much more. Favourite venue to play at and most disliked? I actually love Allianz now. Lucky we've played there once for the Roosters and that's – maybe if we get a home semi we get to play there I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's I really like field. Allianz. But I also like the small suburban grounds. Mm. Like Lacker. I actually, that's my most disliked. I've never won there. hate it. You know what though? But I like suburban grounds, but I've lost every game there. Yeah, that's not that's not good at all. No. And then most disliked, well, that would be your most disliked. Yeah. Mine. I don't know. I don't really. Yeah. Maybe it's Townsville or something because it's hot. Yeah. It was even hot. I mean, play that at seven o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, is this our last question? Because I'm really keen for you to eat this jelly. Okay, look, let me have a look. At origin or club level, cattle dog is called. Who are you getting in the biff with? Love the potty queens. Who am I getting in a biff with? Who are you getting in the in a biff with? You go first. No, I'm asking you. Well, I can tell you who I don't want next to me in a biff. Who? Kezi Alps. She runs away from her? No, I feel like she'd be like, girls, come on, separate, <laughs> please. This is not in the character of the sport. <laughs> girls, we've got to do this jersey proud. Seriously. You she guys are embarrassing political. yourselves. <laughs> Love cares. <laughs> Love cares, but that is actually very true. She's too, like, she's too, yeah. she's too friendly. I got head hard once. Yeah, what did she do? She didn't even come in and bat for you? No, Chelsea Lennon Doozy just loved, to, loved Doozy. Got yeah. me high. <laughs> I have bloody – Kezi behind me does absolutely nothing. Emma Tonegato comes in, pushes the big front rower. <laughs> Kezi's like – Also, <laughs> just quickly, shout out to Kez and Emma um, for getting the two New South Wales Blues yeah. Awards for the year. Well deserved. Uh, they played very well. Very much so. But I still wouldn't want you next to me in a fight. In a fight, yeah. I'd, pref- I'd Even though one's half the size of the other, I'd prefer Emma, ne- Emma next to me as Bloody well. Bloody hell, yeah. yeah. Also, if I had to pick somebody, I think I have two picks. Okay. Isabel Kelly, Jess Surgis. They are crazy. They I are, reckon they would. They are so str- – honestly, I was saying this before to you. And actually, I probably wasn't saying it to you, but – Everyone goes, yeah, Jess and Izzy, like, they're the pin-up. Like, genuinely, they get posted as the pin-up poster center girls. Yeah. Like, they do. Yeah. They are so good at what they do, not only in the flashy draw and pass and, like, scoring tries and whatever, but, like, what they do in yardage, what they do in defense, like, they are just so good. And to play alongside them, it is 
the best. So good, is The it? best, yeah. They're, they're just, just so reliable. You know my favourite thing and about both of them? And you just expect them to be so – like you just expect that of them every time. Because they're never not. They're, they're doing it every not. week. My f- absolute favourite part of both of them though, they're both that aggressive. Like, I know. Th- like I watch Izzy in the warm-up and I'm like – or no, in the warm up in pregame, and I'm like, she's actually making me scared because she's so serious. Yeah, when she's given a, she's chat. got a, he- she's got a headphones, oh, headphones on, and yeah. she's just like zoned in. I'm like, yeah, oh god, okay, switch on here, Keely. And then they're just so aggressive. So if I was in a fight, those two, gladly next to me. Yeah, even Jess with one finger. You know what? I feel like Izzy's is more controlled aggression. Jess would get out of hand and like genuinely <laughs> like come in and like fully dog shot. She would. <laughs> She would do whatever it takes. Yeah. She would be I could see mongrel. Jess in like UFC or something. 100%. I, I could, could see Jess in at UFC. Doesn't matter if she's got to get a toe cut off, finger cut off. She's going to war. But she you know what we were talking about the other that. day? I was like I could see her do that. She would go nuts. But I feel like she might gas out. She would go so hard to start yeah. with. She would be like. But she would have to just win in the first round. She she'd be a knockout girl. <laughs> she's not going 10 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, she – look, she could work on that but she does her job so well. Her and Izzy, just weapons. Yeah, there's not ten rounds on a bloody cattle dog call. No, there's not. There's one. Exactly. One if you do it well. Yes. <laughs> All right, I think that'll do for the questions today. Um, but thanks for sending those through on such short notice. We yeah. just love to chuck a couple in there. We're not doing Alpha Bucks today because that game sucks. We're not I doing Alpha hate Bucks. It. No, I hate that really? game. Come on, you've got to redeem yourself. I'm not playing that game. It gives me stress. Okay, suits me. I won't ever have to eat anything. Okay, we'll go one more no. time. No. I've been looking forward to this moment for a week. And I have not. Okay, grass jelly meal. Let's go. There's no fork in the vicinity. So okay. she's so gonna... on the photo, it's all cut up, but yeah. it's actually just a big like it's actually black. I have keys or something if you need to cut some up. <laughs> <laughs> and I really want you to drink some of the juice. I'm not drinking any juice. Come on. I can't even like it's just a whole big blob. Oh, use the it's not okay, even breaking. Okay, to cut it up for you. Come on. Come here. Come here. You're not getting out of this. Come here. <laughs> use the tin. Use the tin lid. You <laughs> Honestly, I'm Millie, cut myself. you've never been poor in your life. This is how you eat when you've <laughs> got no knives and forks in the house. That's not poor. That's dumb. <gasps> okay. Yep. Now cut into that with the tin lid. <laughs> yes. Yep. Scoop it up. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I hope your t- tummy feels okay for training. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's black. <laughs> oh, no, Millie. Oh my god, this isn't our place to ruin it. Okay, let me let me sit it down on this table. Okay. Should we take this outside, Charlie? It looks like that stuff off that movie in the corner when it's all bubbling. Okay. It looks like, are you serious? I'm just trying a little bit but You know what that looks like? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Slug. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'll say it after you eat it. Come on. <laughs> it's so f- <laughs> it's <laughs> It's not that bad, is it? It's weird texture. Just kind of tastes like wheat grass. Okay. There we go. I was yeah. going to say it looks like a period clot. <laughs> there if your periods look like that go and see a doctor and get some help asap just like that little I bit there some. yeah oh yeah <laughs> that is so bad yeah. pick it up mill oh pick it up it's gonna stand the carpet all right that was pretty pathetic i will say you had like one little bit i'm not having any more i've just had some i think you need to drink a tiny bit of juice and then i'm happy oh fuck me tiny bit of juice and i'm happy good lad <laughs> you 
You don't even want to get me started on what that looks like. (laughs) All right. (laughs) We're wrapping it up. We're done. Or are we finishing with one game? No, we're done. I'm never playing Alpha Bucks ever again. All right, we're done. Yeah, thanks for listening. I hope you go into the video oh, and watch no. it. Wait, oh, before we finish. Here we go. God. No, 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 no. Next week, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, you were about to cut me Sorry. off. Next week we have some exciting guests. Our first guests on the podcast, we've had a couple of people say, oh, is it just going to be you guys? Well, sorry that no one wants to come on our show. <laughs> we've got two next week. And their names rhyme with... Sorbin and Shiana. Ooh. <laughs> Wonder who they are. They also run a podcast in the women's game. Yep. We won't put, give you too much. I tell you what we should do, Mill. Oh my god, I have the best idea ever. Okay. What for next week? Yep. Yeah. I've thought about it a bit more. Um, I was going to say Alpha Bucks Team Edition. Ooh, but I might go with Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go with Kiana. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Okay. No, what about verse, like we'll go together to verse. Okay. We won't do alpha box though. Like what about categories? I love categories. It's the same, but you write it down. Oh. So it's alpha box. But okay, you okay. How about we do alpha box and we'll tell them to bring their grossest piece of food and we'll practice this week. Okay. We can leave the food part out though. It's got to be up for something. Okay. Oh, some money. Okay. We'll, we'll put something on the line. Okay. Hey, all right, so next week, Corbin and Kiana, very excited to have them in the studio with us. We're going to be doing our podcast together. Cannot wait. See you guys then. Bye. See you then.